Welcome to Extra Time. Thank you for your tweets. Some nice, some not so nice. Oh dear. Like this. Why not have Gab, the real Italian, on the show oh. to talk about that? <laughs> Is that oh, nice or not nice? Oh, what nice category is that? That's not that nice, is it? So, uh, you know what? I'm a proud which... Italian. I'm also a proud American. I'm going to be proud to be a dual citizen. Oh. All right. I never said I was pure Italian, so I'm not having that, okay? What's his name? Vet reporter Sid? Sid's S- yeah. S- <laughs> food. Sid's <laughs> left foot. Uh, better signing, Robbo. Sure, Robson's here as well. Hey, Stuart. Oh, that was Shaka, the only one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all excited. Hey, I'm all the, excited that George is here. Cut the bomb. Hey, Stuart. Cut the bomb, bomb. Hey. Uh, Robbo, better signing. Yes. De Jong to Barcelona or De Ligt to Juventus? Um, over the uh, next season, I think De Ligt will be the better signing. Over a longer period, De Jong will be a magnificent signing. I think that's going to be the better one. He's going to be a midfield player that's going to dominate uh, in, in La Liga, he's going to dominate in Europe. He's a top player, so I'm going to go with De Jong. Shaka? I agree with Stuart. Steven? Oh, that's a tough one. Mm. <laughs> wow. So what was, the, what was the actual, just to get to the point? Better signing. The better signing. I don't, I, don't, I don't think one tops the other because no question Juventus need, need a centre-back and there's no question Barcelona need a football player and a guy with legs in the middle of the park as well. So I don't, I don't think one tops the other. In, I think in terms of effect on the pitch, Barcelona have their new Xavi and based on how they want to play, he might be more influential long-term. I think he's absolutely brilliant, especially in that position. Steven. Yes, Tom. Chiellini and De Ligt. Or Ooh. Manolas and Koulibaly. Oh, Chiellini and Delech. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, G- Gab will argue with me I, all day. By I, the I'm way. Gonna, I, I, can I ask you a question first, by the way? You may have. Gab, and I, mm. Gab and I had a complete and utter disagreement on Manolas. Okay. I said he is no way as good as people seem to think he is, and certainly not as, as good as what Gab thinks he is. So, let me tell you something about Higuain really quickly. He said he studied Manolas, and he said he went to ground way too easily. You just have to do a little shot fake, he'll go to ground, and he actually beat him and scored against him doing just that. Yeah. I'm actually putting Napoli's defence third in Serie A, behind Juventus first, Inter second. Oh, the, oh, the can you answer the questions? Yeah, so you're obviously, making, I just said you're Juventus up your own, You're answering questions that I haven't even been asked. Yeah, but I'm putting them first, Juve, and I'm putting Napoli third behind really Inter. Oh, I'm just trying to keep order. Just he's supposed to, to keep order. But look at him. He's sitting here with that smug grin on his face again. Yeah, but yeah. he always has that. Isn't he? Yeah, he does. Matteo kept saying, and we all heard him, Guardiola was going to Juventus this season. What happened, Matteo? <laughs> okay, so first of all, a, a strange thing about Twitter is people like putting words in your mouth that you actually never said. Right. So I Dan said that they were that. interested, which they do. were. The price was too high in the end, so they got discount store Guardiola in Sarri. It was clear that they wanted to change style. Guardiola, of course, was their first option. Doesn't mean that there wasn't talks. You know how many signings and transfers go through the window because at the last second it falls through? It doesn't mean there wasn't interest. How many? Yeah, there's many. One, there's, one many. Thing be, there's one thing to be interested. Right. Guardiola didn't want to go, did he? Yeah, but I never said he wanted to go. I I, that wasn't the case I, I made. I said you may were interested, which they sure. were. I thought so I saw you know the what, yeah, yeah, Ram? I thought he had said that is actually sure. incorrect. You're putting words in my mouth. I'm not having that either. <laughs> uh, Rob, Robbo? Matteo's got to learn. You know, I've been doing this show now for mm-hmm. probably about uh, eight or nine years. Not to take when the When Dan starts <laughs> winding you up, you can't take it seriously, Matteo. <laughs> You're taking it far too seriously. You're, You're biting right. too easily. They're getting at you. Just they calm are. down. He still hasn't told us how many deals <laughs> fall through in the last minute. Many. Do you know how many? <laughs> no, many. how many? Many. 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 Surprisingly, not, many of them. A lot. lot. Many. A lot. Well, you have to teach the Twitter people more than anything. <laughs> teach the Twitter people. Teach those Twitterati. <laughs> Um, Robbo, Shaka in goal. Stevie from the spot. Who are you backing? <laughs> um, Stevie all the time. I've seen Shaka's knees lately. I don't need to get down in time. I mean, Stevie Shots would just fired. roll it into the corner. Shaka would take an age to get down. I'm not even sure he'd dive. He doesn't like getting himself dirty these days. <laughs> well, I say that. <laughs> I'm not quite so sure, but uh, yeah. yeah. Stevie to score. I might have had a Thank claim, you, but for that uh, attempt in Cayman Islands recently. Yeah. It didn't go so well. Uh, you, you were a goalkeeper, Matt, were you? Uh, yeah, a discount store shack of his lap I was. So, really? Um, Who yeah, do you think's I, better now? You at 30, what, how old are you? Uh, 32. You at 32 yeah. or Shaka at 50? 
Well, if he actually cannot get down, then I'd go with me. I can still get down and be flexible. Right. Oh, it depends if he's willing. If you're willing to get down, then it's a whole other story. <laughs> I'd back me all day long. Shaka always so fight you too hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm a Ferrari. <laughs> he's a Fiat. <laughs> I'll take a Fiat. In this case, I'll take a Fiat. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's ironic that your car's leaking gas. <laughs> Uh, Black exhaust. Uh, Robert, last one. Who's your favourite broadcast partner? Uh, oh, I how can I say that? It has to be when I'm working in America. Uh, John Champion and Ian Dark. There's a pair. Martin Tyler in England. Oh, it's a difficult one. Um, I'm going to go with somebody that you've never heard of. Wayne Boyce, who I'm doing the African Cup of Nations with. I've worked with him for, for many years uh, at Eurosport. He is a very good and up-and-coming commentator. I really enjoy working with him. So he's better than Martin Tyler, Ian Dark and John Champion. <laughs> no, I didn't say he was better. I did say he was like better. Uh, See, wow. you're putting words into my mouth, Daniel. Wow. No, he's just mentioned you said everybody there. Hold on, yeah. Yeah. Hold on a second. For an Emmy. Hold on a second. Like you're, you're, Martin Tyler, he's taking it seriously. Yeah, he's exactly. having a go at me for a second. Wow. Just dodge. Just completely dodge. No, no, Robert works with a lot of play-by-plays who are just feeling slighted now. words in my mouth. Think how many play-by-plays he works in this season. He's only mentioned four. The rest of them, rubbish. Oh. Completely dodged Robin. the question. Should have let them know as well. Uh, that is, we, we should. <laughs> that is it. Uh, thank it? you very much. Uh, what's going on tomorrow? Mateo's here again. I'm not coming in. Sorry. I'm sorry to say. Uh, African Cup of Nations final. Uh, Maris and Stevie breaking it down. Ooh. Be sure to join us.